Was that fight played out the way that you expected it to go? Yeah, absolutely. You know, I uh, I knew I wanted I wanted the finish. You know, I think every fighter here, you know, they want to they get in there. For me, there's no nerves, there's no fear. It's just go with the flow, flow with the go. You know what I mean? And I knew when I had the opportunity to take it, take it. Why go 15 minutes when you can finish it in two or three, or knock them out in 10, 10 seconds, whatever. However, you know you get the finish. So it's all about getting the job done, in and out, pain, injury free. A little bit of a scratch, but I like to say scratch free, not a scratch on me. And that's it. Stay pretty and be ready for the next one. Do you think an impressive finish like that vaults you way up the ladder in contention now? Absolutely. You know, I mean, please, if out of everyone here, what other featherweight is doing what I'm doing right now? You know, I the last man before this, I took out the two time former, you know, champion in Daniel Strauss. I was the last man to hold the belt. And obviously I've been waiting for uh, you know, Pitbull and Vichel to do their thing. And I've been waiting patiently. I still took on another contender, another tough fighter, uh, a top tough fighter, no slouch. And he came to bang, and so did I, but I came and strangled him, so. Absolutely. I'm still on my fight trunks right now. I'm still hungry to fight right now, so I hope no one gets wild and backstage or someone drunk doing something stupid or something like that. I have to go be a superhero, take care of business. I don't know why. Normally I shower right away. I try to look pretty for all these cameras and everything, but I th I'm still ready to fight. So I want either one of those guys. Uh, not hurt. I was just like, oh, sh like I was straight up. Excuse my language. I was like, oh shit. Like you know. And then part of me in my mind again, too much thinking. Like you know, you just gotta go with the flow. It was just like, fight the good fight, I guess. And it just caught me up too much thinking. Like, right when I was on my back, I was like, all right, sweep, triangle, try to do this. But then I was like, oh shit, he's punching, and this is where you know he's got power. These bombs right here. It's like uh, I like to say he's like the rampage almost of the 45 division. You know what I mean? He can put people out with that thing. He's got bombs. So I was like, shit, don't be stupid and stay under here and try to play this game screw this i'm like i'm out so i was like rolling for his legs rolling for his back whatever get up to your feet whatever let's you know let's get out of here we talked earlier this week about the, that run of split decisions you had to be involved with now it's three straight uh decisive performances and two straight finishes uh do you feel like the you that is standing here right now would have been able to finish this fight say a year ago or would you have been grinding it out for 15 minutes <sighs> I want to say I still would have got the finish because, you know, uh, because he comes forward so much and leaves it all on the line, too, such as myself. Chances are you're going to get a finish like that, you know what I mean? And we just saw it, too, within Frank Mir and Fedor Emelianenko, you know, that both those guys come to finish the fight. And whoever can get it first, and, it's, you know, it's uh, the battle of wills and it's like a race. And for me, it's uh, being able to weather his uh, the early storm, his power, and time him out, yeah, I would have gotten the finish. Maybe not in the first, but I for sure would have gotten the finish. What do you make of the entire evening in general? You had four wins by submission and you had a TKO in the main event. What do you make of the entire evening? I like to think the whole Bellator brass is happy. You know, I, I really think, you know, I mean, it's like hit or miss. You know, people get pissed at a night full of decisions or then a night full of finishes. It's like, uh, but hey, this is uh, the entertainment business. People want to see, you know, big knockouts. Slick submissions, of course, fight of the nights and battle it out. Two people, you know, leave all their hearts and will and blood and guts on the line. But you know, it's uh, when you can get the job done, get the job done. So I, I think they're happy. One or two more guys. You were talking to he hasn't yet. I don't know. Have you guys seen him yet? I mean, Mr. Chow has, but he hasn't yet. So uh, someone get him over here. You know, what I mean, it's time for a new champion. I remember it since last year, almost still, you know, in my mind. He talked about he, how many times he sold out this arena, more than a dozen times, and it's now it's my turn. So I know they're going to come back. You know, you just, the Fedor Emelianenko, one of the legends, you know, I mean, 10 years ago when I was a kid, I never would have imagined I'd be a co-main event to this man right now, you know, uh, on the same card, Hoist Gracie, Tito Ortiz, you know, the, the names go on and on and on, and who I'm fighting in front of, and it's just insane, you know, I'm, uh, man, it's it's crazy, it's like surreal, and uh, yeah, you know, I know he's uh, he's proud of me. I'm sure he told me if I needed anything, he I could go out and cut weight in his house somewhere around here. You know, whatever. He's got my back, and I got his back. And obviously, he's gonna come and kill it in Chicago later this year too. Last one, guys. You think Pitbull's unmotivated, and that this fight, you're all fired up. 
I think he's motivated to fight me. I think he wants to fight me. You know, obviously, he already beat Daniel Weichel. You know what I mean? And Daniel earned his right, whatever. You know what I mean? That's the fight they made, and that's what he's got. And I don't know. We'll see. Maybe Daniel comes out on top again. Maybe Daniel's still living like, oh, I almost got him in the first, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, maybe that's in Pitbull's head, too. Who knows? But, uh, yeah. I think uh, a lot of these guys are probably tired of rematches and fighting each other and all this stuff, and now it's time for the new face of Bellator, and he's right here, right now, in front of you, and it's time for a new champion.